r slash ask reddit former burglars of reddit where is one place people should never hide valuables former burglars of reddit i want to hear from the current burglars of reddit i like burglars that don't get caught okay this doesn't exactly answer the question asked but it is a tip on potentially protecting your valuables bear with me because it's a bit strange glue a spare key not one that opens something important under your doormat weird right a few years ago i did this in addition to installing cameras over the last couple of years i've seen this exact scenario play out thief walks to the door checks under the mat unsuccessfully tries to grab the key backs up looks around to see if anyone is watching presumably because they think they have fallen for some trap prank where they are being surveilled and leaves they don't even search for another way in because it spooks them this is great my parents did something similar but they also stuck a note to the underside of the mat saying look up one time a kid did look up straight to our camera took it to the police who couldn't do anything with it anyway because he didn't actually steal anything or damage any property led lighting is cheap these days if your house is gonna be vacant for a while Consider investing in one of those smart lighting home automation systems where you can set different rooms to turn on and off at different points in the day. Kitchen during dinner time. Bedrooms at night. Etc. My neighbor did that and it fooled me. I rang his doorbell to ask to borrow a pressure washer wand. With no response. Figured he was with family and wasn't taking any more visitors. But turns out he's been on vacation for the past 4 days. Had my house burglarized by a so-called friend. He missed by far the most valuable thing. It's just a safe sitting on the laundry room floor. He missed it because I'm a scumbag and had it covered with a mountain of dirty clothes and towels. So not being tidy saved me upwards of 35k. For the college kids that might read this. Don't keep your textbooks in your car. On the day of my finals I had about 6 textbooks I was gonna sell after my finals. I left the books in my car while I took my tests. Came back to find someone broke my window out to steal the textbooks. Cop told me that it's very common and unlikely they will catch the guy. So I was out dollar sign 700. Which was huge as a college student. A net loss of $2.50 per textbook. According to Snoozy's books refund value. 50% of the people on my street are either retired or work from home or have a stay home spouse. Always an old lady watching through her curtains. It's my safest home ever. I'm stay at home spouse. Aliens could land on my lawn and I wouldn't notice. I've seen people make false outlets for hiding valuables like cash and jewelry. Just an idea. A burglar would have to be at your home for a long time to start checking outlets. I think I'd be fooled even if it was at our level and out of place. Also side note. I used to do door to door sales for ADT. People would let me in the house and just tell me where all the important stuff was before even verifying I was legit. Don't do that. We had new windows in recently. The blokes that came took out the windows so fast and so quietly. I thought shit I hope they're paid enough to never think about doing break-ins. I imagine it would probably work well too. Sometimes the more obvious it is, the less people think to check. Put some high vis on and just drill the door off. Nobody will probably say anything. Someone will be in for a surprise if they open the safe I keep in my nightstand. It's full of my kids baby teeth. Easy cash trade with a tooth fairy though. I'm going to keep a small safe in the living room with a giant foam middle finger inside for when the day comes. I hide my vegetables in the meat drawer of my refrigerator. I had a Malamute dog years ago. Had another two later. But this was a particularly fluffy one. A friend had heard that it was possible to spin their fur. So I saved enough to knit several jumpers. Anyway. A burglar took stuff from our garage in this massive box of fur too. Must have been quite a surprise. A burglar stole my dad's box of dried up dog shit from the porch once. My dad goes out in the yard once a week to clean up the dog turds and usually throws them in an Amazon box and then tosses it. He left it on the porch for some reason and forgot about it. He realized he forgot about it when he saw it spilled open on the street a block down. We laugh about the turd burglar still. That's a great idea for if you have a problem with package thieves. We had our apartments burgled. 
there were four apartments in the area. Guy kicked down the door, and apparently was in or out pretty quickly. I came home from work. Cop told me, never leave valuables in your nightstand. Might have even said bottom drawer. Sure enough mine were checked. I could tell because my envelopes were moved from where I placed them. I lived in a four apartment block. Every apartment got broken into except mine. But the only easily accessible window to my apartment was my dog's room. Nothing like 90 pounds of a hole that doesn't like someone waking him up from a nap. Even better when the dog lets him in. But not out. Fire safes only are safe from fires. My sister's house burned completely. The fire department didn't put a drop of water on it. And the propane added to the heat until the underground tank ran out. There was nothing but ash and rubble. When we broke into her fireproof safe. The plastic on the inside was mostly melted, but she recovered most of the paper documents inside, including about $2,000 in paper cash. Edit. Finally heard back from my sister. It was just a sentry safe she bought at Costco. She sent me a couple pics, and I've posted them here. Imga.com link. Most people don't realize that when storing valuables inside a fire safe they should be inside a fireproof document bag. That will ensure that the items are not melted, even if the fire safe sustains some damage. Obligatory never done it but you'd be surprised at how often people leave their cars unlocked with nice things inside. A lot of people actually leave them unlocked with the keys inside lol. It's how the majority of cars are stolen. Eliminating the easy opportunity is the easiest step and will do a lot to keep your valuables safe. There are also quite a lot of cars still in circulation where the door locks don't use the digital portion of the key. Meaning that the same physical shape key is used for literally millions of cars. My old Ford Focus kept being unlocked by people when parked outside my house back in the day and I found out my key would open my friend's Ford Focus too. Obviously, these keys won't let you start the car, but they'll give access to the cabin no problem. This was a common thing with any vehicle. The locks usually don't have that many pins and are a little loose, so there's a surprisingly, to most people, good chance that a key from the same make model will work, unless it's a Colorado. Then you're lucky if the original key works in all the locks. Also older garage door openers had minimal security so one could simply drive down the road pressing the button on an opener and usually find one that it worked on within a few minutes. I believe newer models have upgraded their security, but garage door openers don't get replaced very often. Don't keep spare key near front door, under pot plant, under doormat, top of door frame etc. I've always had this idea where there's a fake door key that when used, triggered an alarm. Is there such a thing? I saw a lock picking lawyer video where he rigged his locks so that if you used the wrong key, the lock would jam halfway through turning. Which both locked up the door permanently and trapped the key in the keyhole. Edit. Finally found the video. It's this one. Why are you excluding active burglars from the conversation? All active burglars, please reply to this comment. And please don't be using a VPN. Nice try FBI. Inside vacuum cleaner. We hid money in it and it got stolen with everything else in the house back in Syria. Edit. Thief was the military forces that invaded the area not someone I know or someone desperate. Wow that sucks. The sad thing is they weren't even using that vacuum cleaner. It was just gathering dust. Edit. Thanks for the silver. I'll hide it in my Dyson. My cousin lives in a bad neighborhood. So she went to a thrift store. Bought an obvious looking jewelry box and a bunch of expensive looking costume jewelry that's actually worthless and put it in the box. She keeps this in a conspicuous place, then she leaves a few twenties on top. This way if someone breaks in, they will grab this and run, ignoring some of her well hidden valuables. The old switcheroo. That's a great idea. I kinda do this while on holiday. I'll hide my wallet and keep an empty wallet in the front pocket of my backpack. If someone pickpockets you in public I doubt they'll check the contents first before trying to disappear. Reading this discussion with fascination and imagining alternative life where I have stuff worthy of stealing. Also, my husband is a hoarder so I would be grateful if somebody came and stole some stuff. Yeah, anyone trying to find my valuables is going to have a hell of a job. It already looks like I've been burgled. Your shed. Seriously. Lock your duck eyeing shed. Even if your house is well locked, 
If your shed isn't I likely have access to a plethora of tools I can use to gain access. Don't help the burglar. Lock your shed. Even if your house is well locked. If your shed isn't I likely have access to a plethora of tools I can use to gain access. Don't help the burglar. Lock your shed. This one. One step further. Don't leave things on the porch that can be used to gain entry. A simple broom handle becomes a key. I once used a paint roller cleaning tool to help me reach the last 5 inches to unlock a sliding glass door through a dog door flap. If you want to know how a burglar is going to get into your house, lock your keys inside when you're already late for work. Don't leave things out that people can see from outside your home or car. If you buy a new TV or computer break down the box it came in. Don't just leave it by your garbage bin. Lock doors and windows. Keep your handbag close and closed. If someone wants to break in they will. Don't keep everything out in the open. And have insurance on anything that is valuable. If someone wants to break in they will. This is the most important takeaway from this thread. Most neighborhoods are relatively empty during the day and there's often not good visibility to back and side doors. And most locks are shit. A safe. Also, almost all locks are bullshit unless you had a locksmith put in security pins. But the robbers can just take the safe and figure it out later if time is an issue. Edit. On the lock issue, if you are in the US, there are about 5 major door lock manufacturers. A thief can have just 5 bump keys, plus a few others just in case, and get in your house easily. A bump key is just a referenced key that is ground down to 4 or 5 equal triangular points. When inserted with the proper bump key to the lock, you just bump the back of the key with a rubber mallet and try to time the turn when all of the pins align. Usually just takes about 5 tries or less. That's why you have to use a couple hundred pound gun safe that takes 3 people to get into a spot that it doesn't fit so it's wedged in there. Also, the gun safe is usually bolted down into the flooring from within to make it virtually immovable. Not a burglar or former burglar, but never hide keys and lock combinations in a jar near the door or under your welcome mat. Also, if you purchase something big, like a TV or something big, never leave the box near your home. The burglar would see it and know you have something valuable in there. I know this sounds crazy, but mow your lawn frequently. It'll show that you have been and had enough time to mow your lawn and that someone must be there. It's obvious. But only announce your trips when you're finished so at first nobody knows you're not there. Edit. Ro. How did this get so many likes and replies? Only posted this barely yesterday. Tax driver. Sir. Please tell me where you wanna go. Me. Nah man. I'll tell only after I reach there. Or announce a trip and don't go and capture the burglars yourself. That will definitely not backfire. Edit. Spelling. Any safe that's not bolted down and is small enough for 1-2 people to carry isn't safe at all. Also, my ex's grandfather had a safe stolen from his home that was bolted down. The thieves wrapped a chain around it and ran it out the window to a truck. Took the safe straight through the wall. All they had to do was follow the drag marks though. But still. I heard a lot of people hide stuff in the air vents. Is it searched usually? Also, my mum used to hide what little valuables we had in a small space behind our washing machine. A really heavy one. Except if you knew it was there you couldn't know there was a space here, and that it was accessible. She had to spend 10-15 minutes hiding stuff because it was really hard to access. So I guess that burglars wanting to do their thing as quickly as possible wouldn't spend time looking there. Vents aren't likely to be checked mo. They're inconvenient to access and not many people store valuables there. Inside one of those small lock boxes. It's great when you find one because they're simple to open and if they don't have a wall safe then all of their main valuables and money are usually in it. Jackpot. Bro, you made it to the end. You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content more It's free and that's a great price.